Hello all, Ball Play Squad Gaming here, and this is our Final Fantasy XIV Trial Guard series. Thor March Extreme is a level 50 full party optional trial featured during the quest The King Lives. The quest giver is Uriange in Awakened Sands. It is worth mentioning at the time of recording this video, 20 tombstones of poetics are awarded upon completion. The Mongols Guard return even angrier and floofier than before. Get ready for a fight of royal proportions. We welcome back Good King Mogul Mog the Twelfth, so without further ado, Let's get into the guard. We can start this fight with the main tank gaining enmity of the good king and facing him away from the party. Almost instantly he will use a frontal cone attack that will deal damage and reduce any player's MP by 5000 that are stood in front of him. This is why it is important to always keep the boss facing away from the party during this fight to avoid coupons charge. The good king will also use mob creation in the first phase and throughout the fight. This frontal column AoE deals moderate damage and can easily be avoided. This fight is split up into four phases, and as you can see on screen, Phase 1 is a damage phase on the Good King, Phase 2 and 3 are Moogle's Guard damage phases, and Phase 4 is the final Enrage DPS check phase for this fight. Keep dealing damage to the Good King until around 90% health when he becomes invulnerable to damage. This is the end of Phase 1 and he will summon the 7 Moogle's Guard we have met before. We now enter Phase 2. As a quick recap, here are the Moogles we come across and their roles. We have Whiskerwall Koopty Koop, the Paladin Moogle. We have Woollywall Kupu Kogi, the Archer. We have Pukla Puki, the Palm Burner, the Black Mage. We have Furryfoot Koopli Kip, the White Mage. We have Pukna Paco, the Tail Turner, the Rogue. We have Ruffle Tuft Koopta Kappa, the Warrior. And finally, Pooksy Pico, the Shaggy Song, the Bard. In this part, we are more interested in interrupting certain abilities rather than the kill order. We will cover the main abilities we need to interrupt later in the video in more detail. Just keep in mind that the three most dangerous Moogles are the Black Mage, the White Mage and the Archer. So let's start with explaining the main mechanic in this part. Good King Mogul Mog is invulnerable to damage from any normal attack. The way that he takes damage is by healing the rest of the Moogles when one of them is killed. Our aim here is to get all the Moogles to around 5-10% to of their HP before killing any of the Moogles. This will in turn deal huge damage to the Good King as he will have to sacrifice his own health to revive all of the severely injured Moogles guard. This mechanic is hugely important as both Phase 2 and 3 rely on enough damage being dealt to the Good King for it was able to be able to kill him in the 4th. Now that mechanic is explained, we need the main tank to gain enmity of the Good King and Whiskerwall, and tank them both over towards the edge of the fight area. The off tank will need to gain enmity of Ruffle Tuft, and tank this Moogle on the other side of the arena. Only the tank Moogles have a threat table, so all of the other Moogles will move around the fight area freely, regardless of who is damaging them. In Phase 2, the Moogles will have their own abilities that we must contend with. Pukla the Black Mage will use Pond Flare. This large AoE circle will deal huge damage to anyone caught in the area. We can interrupt this ability by dealing approximately 1k damage to the Moogle or 5 auto attacks. We need to be careful not to kill the Moogle prematurely when interrupted. Pukla will also use Meteor. This multi-target multi-AoE will focus random players and are indicated by huge blue circles. All players need to avoid the moderate damage caused from Meteor. Furryfoot will go around healing all the other Moogles. Don't worry too much about this in this phase, but be aware, Furryfoot will become a much bigger threat in phase 3. Pooksy will sing songs and buff the other Moogles and will occasionally do a point blank AoE dealing low damage. You can all but ignore this Moogle throughout the fight. The tank Moogles will debuff their target with Mog Dark resistance down from Ruffle Tuft and Mog Light resistance down from Whiskerwall, reducing resistances respectively for the other tank and they will also use a frontal cone AoE dealing moderate damage. Avoid these as necessary. Woolly War talking will indicate when a Moogle ability is about to be used. During this phase we need to look out for when this Moogle shouts Delta. This triangular shaped AoE deals enormous damage to anyone caught within the central triangle AoE. Aim to keep towards the edges of the fight arena to avoid this attack. And finally, Pugna will fly around stabbing party members for low damage. This Moogle can for the most part also be ignored, however Pukna can become very dangerous depending on the amount of buff stacks from the Good King. The Good King will periodically cast Royal Rouse, buffing any Moogle in the AoE circle with a stack of Royal Rouse, increasing their health pool and damage output. 
It is essential to manage the stacks and make sure that the good king is positioned as to not give too many stacks to any one Moogle. You can tank swap after phase 2 to reduce tank stacks, but this generally isn't required. Once all of the Moogles are around 5-10% health, kill one of the Moogles and deal damage to the good king. Phase 3 now begins and the difficulty increases significantly. We start phase 3 with all the Moogles casting Mog Meteor. This area wide ability deals moderate damage and is unavoidable. It is recommended to group centrally and heal after the damage but you should be able to just heal normally and continue the fight. In phase 3 there will be two ultimate combos from the Moogles guard which can happen in any order. However, the ultimate combo is the same no matter when it is used. The first ultimate combo is Moogle Go Round and Holy. Once Fairyfoot starts to cast Holy, the DPS should focus the White Mage and cancel the cast, as we have before with Pond Flare. Shortly after, Ruffle Tuft will mark two players would be Moggled, increasing the damage received from Moogle Go Round. Unfortunate as that is the next ability. The aim here is when Ruffle Tuft starts to cast Moogle Go Round, the healers need to cleanse the bemoggled debuff from any players affected. If this is done in time, Moogle Go Round will deal very little damage and the party can continue the fight as normal. The second ultimate combo is Mog Rain of Death and a Throne for a Loop. Woolly Walk will mark the three furthest away players with a stylish crosshair and these players need to spread out and make sure not to be near any other players and at this time, Whiskerwall will tether the three closest players to the Moogle and they will lose control and mindlessly walk towards Whiskerwall where he has placed a huge poison puddle. The healers need to very quickly remove the debuff thrown for a loop on the tethered player so they can escape the poison. These two ultimate combos can easily wipe the trial so mechanic knowledge is essential here. This phase will also include all of the other Moogle abilities and can become very hectic. Once you have the Moogles between 5-10% to health, pick a Moogle to kill and get ready for the last phase. Once you kill the first Moogle during this phase, the Good King will start to cast Memento Moogle and the DPS and Rage phase begins. You will have until the end of the cast to kill all the Moogles and then deal normal damage to the Good King. Failure to kill the King before the end of the cast will wipe the trial. It is recommended to kill the Moogles in a certain order, reducing the time it takes to clear the Moogles and allowing you more time to kill the King. If you have any casted DPS players, it is highly recommended to use your Limit Break 3 on the Moogles to help you. Here is our recommended order in which to kill the Moogles, however if your DPS is high enough, as long as you kill the Moogles, the order is really not that important. You should aim to kill Pukla the Black Mage first, Furryfoot White Mage second, Woolly Wart the Archer third, Pukna the Rogue fourth, Pooksy the Bard fifth, Whiskerwall the Paladin sixth, and Ruffletuff the Warrior seventh. If your party's DPS is high enough and you can kill the Moogles guard quickly, then you'll be able to easily kill the King. And there you have it, Thorn March Extreme is complete. Remember to commemorate the player you believe deserves it most and pick up your loot. We give this trial a difficulty rating 4 out of 5 swords. This fight is mechanic heavy and good knowledge of your role is essential. The special loot for this trial includes Moogle Ribbons, the Kingly Whisker Crafting Item, the faded copy of Good King Mongol Mog the 12th Orchestrian Roll, and the Good King Mongol Mog the 12th card. Remember to like, comment, and if you haven't already, click to subscribe. That trial gave me a headache. We are 4Play Squad Gaming. Thanks for watching.